Hello and welcome to a one channel. This is Peter Fruchin. A Danish explorer and author, Fruchin is best known for his role in Arctic exploration. During the early 20th century, much of the Arctic still remained a mystery to the old world. Given the tough conditions, only the bravest and hardiest could dare to venture into and survive the frigid north. And it just so happens that Fruchin was one of them. It all began in 1906, when Fruchin and fellow explorer, Nud Rasmussen, made their first expedition into Greenland. There, the two met and traded with the Inuit people. They learned about their culture and lifestyle, while also accompanying them on hunting expeditions. In a way, Fruchin was uniquely suited for the Arctic. Standing at a whopping 6273, he managed to single-handedly take down a polar bear with a spear, fashioning himself a coat from its fur. In 1910, Fruchin and Rasmussen established a trading post at Cape York, Greenland, named Thule. Thule would serve as their base of operations for the next 14 years, during which Fruchin would make seven expeditions into previously unexplored areas of the Arctic. During one of these expeditions, Fruchin and his crew undertook a trek of almost 1,000 kilometers, 600 mi, across Greenland, to verify the possible existence of a channel. But during the journey, a heavy blizzard forced all Pete to take cover under a dog sled. Soon, he found himself completely buried under snow, which quickly hardened to ice. Several hours passed as Vruchin remained imprisoned in this icy coffin, unable to claw his way out. Without any sharp objects at hand, he was forced to improvise. I got a new idea. I had often seen dogs dung in the sled track and had noticed that it would freeze as solid as a rock. Would not the cold have the same effect on human discharge? Without hesitation, Fruchin molded his feces into a dagger, waited for it to freeze, then used it to chisel his way out. He spent three hours crawling his way back to the campsite, as his feet were beset by frostbite. To make matters worse, one foot turned gangrenous soon after he made it back. Once again, he quickly improvised. Without anesthetics, he used a pair of pincers and a hammer to remove the affected parts himself. Indeed, there is no shortage of stories concerning the insane choices these explorers had to make. But breaking out of an icy grave with your own feces? And amputating your own toes soon after? That's pretty much on its own level.